we're going to place a bell-shaped probability curve, what statisticians call a kernel, at each of our observed data points, which are carefully constructed probability distributions that represent our confidence about finding students with scores near each observed value. So, at our the first score, we center a bell curve there, then at the second score, we place another bell curve, and so on, for all the remaining scores. Now, here's where the method becomes truly powerful. Each of these individual bell curves represents what we call local evidence for finding students with various scores. The student who scored 78 provides strong evidence for finding other students around 78 points, moderate evidence for students scoring around 70 or 85 points, and very little evidence for students scoring 45 points. So, for any score we are curious about, let's say 65 points, we examine what each of our six bell curves predicts for that score, add up all those predictions, and divide by six to get the average. This average becomes our best estimate of how likely we are to encounter a student with that score in the entire university population. What emerges from this averaging process is something quite remarkable, a smooth continuous function that captures both the specific details of our sample and the broader patterns in the academic performance data.